Hey there, this is Jamie Polize, and it's been a very long time since I've done a video solo. Um, mainly because I've been busy doing videos with my business partners and sharing our knowledge um, about Inner Shaolin, which that's another video for another day. Anyways, um, today's a very special day for me. It is October 6th of 2014. And this would have been my son Aiden's ninth birthday. And well, I've done a lot of different things over the years to commemorate him, like writing him poems and letters and sending them off in balloons and different things. I felt like this year I needed to do something different. And I don't know if you've ever lost a child and I, I pray to God that you haven't because honestly, I don't want you to know where I'm coming from or how it has impacted me or the pain that even till this day still exists in my heart. I don't wish it on anyone. Like even the most, you know, heinous of people, I do not wish it on. I've decided that I'm ready to start sharing my story about being a mom of a child who isn't here. Um, I do have a child that is, uh, my daughter Jaya, and I'm very grateful for her, but it's it's hard being a parent of a child that is here and one isn't because a lot of times people think that your child's the only child or that you're, you know, just a, a parent of one when you're really not. And if you, you've met people who've lost a child or you're one that has lost a child yourself, you know what I'm talking about. And so in light of this ninth year of not having my son here in my arms, and in light of the fact that I, I just learned, you know, I think it was on October 2nd, that this month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which is a month I wish I did not relate to. Um, I wish I did not know anything that anyone, you know, has gone through in domestic violence. Um, however, I do. I went through seven years in a very, very screwed up, severely dysfunctional marriage. Um, thank God, you know, that ended um, and is no longer in existence. That actually ended right after our seventh year of marriage in 2011. And that's a very, very long story. And there's a lot of stories that I want to share with you and a lot of tips that I've always wanted to share and I want, always wanted to provide to not only spread awareness of what it's like to, to be a parent of a child who's not here. Um, for those, you know, family members and friends who don't know how to approach this topic or don't feel like they have any idea of what to do to help that person through that process of mourning. Um, but also hopefully to give hope to those who have lost a child to know the different things that have helped me personally to not I wouldn't say overcome it, but get through that process to make it easier and, and less stressful every single year. And also to give tips and information on you know how a person gets in a domestic violence situation, what could entail in a domestic violence situation, and how to get out of it, more importantly. And not only how to get out of it, but how to heal properly from that. Now, I'm not going to say that my healing by any means is done. Um, no, I would say that, you know, this past year has been one of the biggest leaps that I, I've ever had in the healing process. And every year has been a little bit more and more. And I think it's a continual growth and healing process that I think whether you've been in a domestic violence situation, whether you lost a child or not, you know, we're always in a stage of growth and and just becoming a better us and healing from whatever it is that's been in your past that has hurt you. So, or that, you know, you've allowed to hurt you rather. And I'll explain that little phrase later on in another video. So I don't know how many videos I'm gonna do. I, I don't have a set of how many I will do and when I will do them, but I will be making these videos as I feel called in the spirit to do so. And I'm just, excited that I'm actually able to do this in that it's the first time that I felt ready to do it because I've had this calling in my spirit in my soul and my heart to reach out to other people men and women not just women but men and women who have lost a child 
or who have been in domestic violence situations, I've, I've wanted to, but part of me didn't feel ready. Part of me didn't feel worthy. Part of me felt like it, I was unsafe for me to even talk about these things. Um, from a couple standpoints, you know, thinking, you know, are people going to judge me? What are they going to think about me when I, when I share these things? And also obviously, you know, being concerned about my ex-husband and, um, you know, what ramifications of sharing this information may come from that. However, God has put it in my heart and my soul that it just doesn't matter anymore. He put me here for a reason. And while I don't think that he meant for me to go through these trials and tribulations um, because I had warning signs and I didn't listen and I put myself through this situation, um, it still has made me a better person. And it's made me be able to relate to people that I probably never would have been able to relate to otherwise. Because, you know, we're always told, well, you know, try to put yourself in that other person's shoes. And you can try all day long and you can have the best imagination possible and you can, you know, maybe even get close to what it might be like to be like that person and what they're going through. But unless you've actually been in their shoes, unless you've actually been through that situation, you really have no idea, no idea. And, and in my particular instances of the things that I'm going to be talking about, if you have no idea where I'm coming from, I am happy for you. I'm, I'm ecstatic for you because like I said, I wish the things that I will be sharing on no one. And I pray that through this, these videos that I'm going to be creating, that if it helps one person avoid themselves from being put in a situation of domestic violence or helps one person get out of a domestic violence situation safely, then it's completely worth it. All the pain is worth it. And then as far as the child loss situation, if what I went through and sharing my stories helps one person heal and, and move past, you know, almost the self-destruct mode, I like to call it, then it was all worth it. It was all completely worth it. So I'm just excited that I'm going to be able to start sharing more of my story. Um, it's something that I felt that I've needed to do just to help other people and to honor my son's death. I know that might sound strange, but but it really that is how I feel. And I'd want to share with you um, something that was really dear to my my soul is today my daughter Jaya. You know she went to school. Um, we debated if I was going to have her take the day off or not, but we decided to have her go. And she came home and she wanted to to write something to her brother. So I want to share that with you. I don't know if you can see the drawing, but she drew uh, me. Um, my son Aiden as what he would probably look like now and herself <laughs> and then them too as as babies because they actually would have been a, a little barely over a year apart if my son was here and that's a whole long story no I was not trying to get pregnant after just losing a baby if you're wondering <laughs> but I will share more of that in another video so she said dear Aiden happy birthday I miss you very much I wish you were here so I drew a picture of you we love you very much. This is me and you when we were li we were young. Because <laughs> she's so old now. Um, and she's, she put love, um, love Jaya and mom. And, you know, she has a dragonfly there because I always think of when I see dragonflies, it just reminds me of my son. And so I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was really beautiful and sweet that she does that. Because even though she hasn't personally ever met Aiden, she very much so knows who he is, loves him as if she has known him, you know, every day of her life and misses him as if she's, you know, actually physically been with him at some point in time. So that was beautiful. Um, and I'm just glad that I'm able to do this and I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> um, so like I said, these, these videos that are going to come up, they're going to be to hopefully help you heal. Maybe someone that you know, help them heal as well. And also be a part of my own healing process. Something that I need to do for myself as well as for others. So I look forward to sharing more about my story. And we'll just kind of play it by ear. And as the, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit moves me, I'll be making these videos and sharing them with you. Please pass them on. Um, below this is also going to be a link to a webinar that we're going to be putting on at the end of October. 
And in that webinar, we are going to be sharing basic self-defense against um, normal situations that occur. And while we're going to be more um, pointing this towards women, I, I do implore if you're a man to get on these webinars too, because whatever we teach at Inner Shaolin can apply to a man or a woman. Um, these techniques work whether you're male or female, and that's the beauty of them. And um, so one of the things that we're doing at Inner Shaolin to give back and spread awareness about domestic violence this month is we're going to do this webinar. It's completely free. Um, if you can't be on it, go ahead and sign up anyway so you can get the replay. And please, 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 please share it because I didn't even know it was Domestic Violence Awareness Month that's apparently been going on since 1981 until October 2nd of this year. Think about that. I was a domestic violence, you know, situation. Not like I've been hiding under a rock and I just learned about it. So how many other people have no clue? Um, so please do share this because what I'm hoping is that this will help you prevent from being any, you know, horrible situations. And if you become in a horrible situation that you'll be able to handle it and be able to get out of it fastly and safely. Um, and then I'll just spread awareness that these things do happen. They're not just in movies. They're not just fairy tales. The stuff, unfortunately, does happen in this world. So that's it for now. Um, sorry for rambling on. I love you all, and I look forward to serving you and hopefully inspiring you and helping you in some way, shape, or form. Bye for now.